Premium quality, delicious and healthy products are the pride and joy of every food and beverage producer. Increasing emphasis is put on quality control in order to secure the safety of food supplies. In various phases of the production process, from raw materials to final products, the hygienic status and uniform quality are constantly confirmed in several ways. Soon we'll meet an expert who specializes in this area. She knows how to make consistent, tasty juice and how to control quality in a cost-effective way. She is Quality Control Director Annette Steshiski from Becker's Besta, a family company which has been producing high-quality fruit juices since 1932. We're in Germany, in the federal state of Saxony-Anhalt, in Eisleben, the city of Martin Luther, at Becker's Besta. At this plant in Eisleben, we produce juices, concentrates and purees, and also semi-finished products from apples, sour cherries and black currants. These are the three main fruits that we handle. We also handle, in smaller quantities, red currants, raspberries and some other types of fruit. When the family business was established, juices were not tested with the same intensity as nowadays. At that time, the priority was the good taste of the product. There were no laboratory methods in use then. However, over time the fruit juice laboratories have accepted more and more analyzing methods. We want to supply our customers with only high-quality products, which is why it's obligatory to test the products as thoroughly as possible. We do testing during all phases of the production process, beginning with the delivery of the apples, when we check the quality of the fruit visually. If the quality does not meet our expectations, we reject the delivery. The acidity and density of the product are checked throughout the process, especially before the juice is placed in tanks and before the containerization on trucks. We test the product according to the customer's specifications, so we can assure the quality required. At the moment we're testing HMF, hydroxymethyl furfural, D and L lactic acid and ethanol. For the coming season, we will also test sorbitol in black currants and cyanide in sour cherries. In addition, we plan to test not only the product itself, but also the water used in production. After a good deal of consideration, we decided to apply for the International Food Standard, IFS, accreditation. The first audits have been passed successfully. The full IFS accreditation will be completed this year. Your production, and also the laboratory, works seven days a week. Production works in three shifts and the laboratory has night shifts on Monday and Friday. Besides yourself, three technicians work in the laboratory and every production employee, too, is able to carry out the quality check, which they do during the weekends. Before automated analysis was introduced, the quality tests were done manually. What benefits have you gained using the thermoscientific arena analyzer for enzymatic testing? The main advantage is the reduction in working hours. While the analyzing, the staff can do other things, mainly microbiological testing. The second important advantage is saving in the consumption of reagents. Compared with manual methods, we can do up to 15 times more tests out of one package of reagents. Especially at peak times, this system has proved its worth. We can do clearly more samples than we could with the previous manual methods. Urgent samples can be analyzed in between the routine analysis. How do you see the future of the testing? Which tests do you plan to run with the ARENA? 
Spezialisierung im Saft. We would like to expand the number of parameters, not only for our main product, apple, but also for other fruits. Analyzing sorbitol and potassium in black currants or cyanides in sour cherries are good examples. We see a lot of applications that can be run in the future with the arena.